Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Selenium Python tutorial, we will learn how you can do data driven testing using the CSV file and externalizing your data into the CSV file. So in the previous tutorials, we have learned about externalizing the data into the JSON, YAML or Excel files. Now you might be having a requirement that your data is into the CSV file and you want to read that data and use it in your test case. CSV files are the comma separated files. So they are simple text files and you separate the data with the comma separation. So let's quickly create one of the CSV files. So I'll simply create new file in the test data and I'll name it as data csv this time okay and a dot csv so the extension has to be dot csv so that it's recognized as the csv file so just keep it you know file pattern dot csv and keep it as text and that should be enough right now let's quickly copy the same data from the excel and we'll use it to create the csv file so we'll simply copy it go to csv and paste everything okay now as we know csv file is comma separated file so all of these values will be comma separated so we'll remove the spaces and and separate the values with the comma okay so for now let me remove these two values and we'll just keep two values there okay if you want to extend or have more values there you can anyways add more rows there okay so now we know that this is the csv file and the csv file has the header basically this is the header so we know that what values we are picking. So basically going from is the first value, going to the second, date is third, and stops is the last value. And every value is comma separated. So that's how you'll create your CSV file. And in case your test data is stored in the CSV file, as we have understood about the Excel utility, we have to write a utility to read this CSV file and then store it into the list so that we can use it into our test case, right? Similar, exact similar pattern that we have seen that we write a utility to read that data and store it into a list and then we unpack that list here we call that method here so that the data is being read from CSV file and made available and then we unpack and use it here okay so let me comment out this particular statement and we will use at data and this time we'll call the utility that it will write for the reading of csv file okay so in the utils we have written the utility for reading the data from excel okay so if we want to read the data from the csv file right so what we need to do is there is a module csv within python that we can use by default and read the data so csv module provides a lot of functionality to work with the csv file so what we can do is we'll simply create a method read data from csv right and as we know here that in order to read data from excel we had provided file name and sheet now in csv there is no sheet so we just need to provide the file name say for example i just want to provide the file name which file i want to read now when we want to implement this particular read data utility from csv then the first step if we talk about is to same same as we have done here to create an empty list right so you can simply say create an empty list and what this list will store is it will store the data right so we can simply say data list and this is the empty list that will store the final data that has been read from the csv file the next step is to open the csv file that you will read so open csv file okay and in order to open the csv file we will use the csv module right so first let us import the csv module okay so let me remove unused imports and we will say import csv that's the only thing you have to do and then we can open the csv file how we can open the csv file we can simply say csv data just a variable and then there is a method open and in the open we can provide the file name right so we can simply say file name right so whatever file name you want to open that's what we want to open with this open method and we want to open in a particular mode right so what mode is available okay so i want to open it into the read mode all right so that mode you have to provide okay so that's the second step basically to open the file right the third step is to create a reader okay so we'll create csv reader which will basically read the data from the csv file so how you will create a reader the csv reader will be basically you just say reader okay a variable which will read the data from the csv file so we'll say csv dot reader 
and we'll provide the file right so we'll provide the file which you want to read so we'll provide the csv data there okay so this reader will read this particular open csv file pretty simple right straightforward we are doing creating the empty list then we are opening the csv file as you will do in the manual cases right you'll open the file and then you'll read the file visually so that same thing we are doing through the code now the next step is to basically we want to skip the rows right so we do not want to read the header okay because this is not a test case this is just to ensure the values below this are the actual values okay so to skip the header we will we'll say skip header and the header will be skipped basically with the keyword next and we'll say next and pass the reader okay there so we have created reader okay reader reads the csv file and we just want to skip the header so we'll say next and pass the reader there so first of the row will be skipped the next step is to basically add the rows okay so we'll say add csv rows to list that we have defined in the first step right so this is the empty list so whenever the reading is happening whatever values we are reading we are going to add those rows into this list so that it is being passed to the calling method right so to the test method so what we are going to do here to add the csv rows to the list we'll simply use the for loop so we'll say for rows in reader because reader is reading the csv file so we'll say for rows in reader what we want to do is we want to say data list right dot append right we want to append the data list right this is the data list that we want to append and append the rows that are being read right so we'll just pass the rows right so whatever rows are being read by the reader append those to the data list that has been created okay and finally once you are out of that reading loop every row has been read and appended in the data list we just want to return this list so what, what we want to return is we want to return this data list right and spelling mistake so this is return data list all right so that's the only detail that you want to put in your read data from csv so this, this is even simpler than what we have done for the reading from excel right so pretty simple like creating an empty list then reading opening the csv file reading the csv file and skipping the header is even simpler like just say next of the reader and we'll skip the header and simple for loop will append the rows into the data list and should be able to return that data okay now similar to what we have done in the excel case we'll go to the test search flight right this is what we have done we have basically read the we have used the method right so wherever you have written this particular method we are basically following the framework approach so we are writing all the utilities in the utils class so because utils is imported here right if you are writing in some different class then import that particular class okay with this particular statement wherever you know your class is util classes you import that and similarly as we have done here we simply say utils dot instead of read data from excel we'll use the method read data from csv right and we know this csv file is here so we can simply copy the path so i'm copying this absolute path but you can also provide you know the relative path because you can just go back something like this okay and refer to that particular path but i'll just quickly copy it and use the absolute path and on windows you have to make sure that there are forward that there are two backslashes right that's the only thing because this particular method only accepts the file name right because in csv we do not have any concept of sheets and etc so we just provide the file name there okay the next thing is we have to ensure that we do not forget this star right this is this tells python that you are expecting a list of data that might come and you have to unpack right this decorator has to unpack and provide to the method right so that's pretty much it in terms of creating the utility and getting this data from the csv file so now let's me let me change this sequence to bombay to new delhi and then new delhi to bombay right so this is 19th of say for example i'll change it to 19th of 9 okay as date and this is let's say 28 29 29th of um, 8 okay so let me save it and run the test case now so now because our test case is referring to the data from the csv file it should read those two lines and two test cases should be executed with that set of data okay so let me quickly run the test case with the same command so provide the browser of firefox and url and enter 
enter and let's see what happens this so it read the data you can see bombay to new delhi on my screen 19th of 9 right which is the new data that we have changed in the csv file it's actually reading the data from the csv file it should now populate this particular data pass it to our script and you can see it has passed mumbai to new delhi and departure date as 19th of september and searching the flight and this will be filtered on two flights let's see how it goes so it has filtered based on the two stops and finished the test case right it should now launch again with new delhi to bombay destination with 29th of august and one stop filter so it has already ticked those values from csv file so it looks like it is there is some issue let's see how uh, it's actually going on it was uh, minimized so you can see new delhi to mumbai 29th august and this time it should filter by the one stop selected one stop should verify all the stops and finish the test all right so let's see the result okay so it is basically launching again so looks like something hasn't been saved issue there all right okay so two failed one pass so looks like there is some issue with reading the file there okay so because in our csv file we have mentioned that there are all right okay so you can see i think there are this is the problem there were multiple rows there okay and maybe that's the issue so let's run again and this time i have removed these extra spaces that were there in the file and let's see that it executes only once or twice okay so let me remove this line as well and let's see this time it only runs once okay so scrolling at the bottom and this time it should be only one execution as we expect and you can see it has executed only once right so there was an issue with the spaces so basically when you are using the csv files make sure you do not have extra spaces there in the file right so that might be considered as an extra row and it will go ahead and try to find the data within that row okay so that was the thing that we have also learned now this is all basically about how you can read your data from the csv file and then use it into your test case right so pretty simple utility we have write we have written to read the data from excel to read the data from csv and it is just a couple of steps but it gives you a lot of power when you want to do data driven testing in a simplest manner possible within your projects and this data driven testing is very important without this you can't achieve the coverage that you usually should be getting in terms of your test automation for your application so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching